Giles, today we have the announcement that Henderson, partly based in London, partly based in Australia, has agreed a so-called merger of equals yep. with US-based Janus, another asset manager. Tell us why they would want to combine. Okay, well, there are very good reasons in the industry itself. If you look at fund management, particularly active fund management, it's a really difficult business. There are regulatory costs rising all the time, so they have to be spread over a bigger client base. So the bigger the firm, the more they can cope with that. Also, there's the continuous pressure from passive investing, mm. either ETFs or those huge, huge industry behemoths like Vanguard. And they're, they're cheaper, and they're actually beating the active guys a lot of the time. So they want to combine to get their sales networks together. You've got Janus, which is based mostly in the US. It's well known for having taken Bill Gross from the firm he um, founded, PIMCO, but it's a kind of irrelevance. They've got about something close on $200 billion there, and there's about $130 billion or slightly more coming over from Henderson, who are all based in Europe. So hopefully those two dovetail. Because at Lex, we take the view that basically active management over the long term doesn't yeah. add a lot of value. So they're actually doubling down on a not very good business. Here. Yeah. I mean, and to be fair, if you look at their slide pack, you'll find that both companies have got reasonably good performance. I think it's something like 75 to 78 percent of their funds are in the top or second quartile for performance, which is OK. Mm. But actually, the, the passive investment beats 90 percent of active investment over 10 years. Right. So, yeah, it's a difficult business, but clients choose active investment. So if that business is going to exist, mm. they want to choose from one of the good guys. And these ones seem to be on the last few years performance. And they get money partly, as you've already said, they've got their cost savings, but yeah. they also want to grow their assets under management. They get a yeah. fee for managing it. This will bring, what, about 320-something billion US AUM? Well, yeah, in total, th about 330. It still sticks it way outside the top 10. I mean, you've got the people like BlackRock at the top with 4 trillion. So it's still not one of the absolute monsters, but enough to get much more efficiencies out. And also, another irrational thing about this business, clients like to deal with people they know and brands they trust. In Denver, which is where Janus is based, they trust the name of Janus. And even though they could just click on the internet and look for a Henderson Fund, they're only going to feel happy with it now that it's under the same umbrella. So bigger sales for the same fund manager skill base. And on the subject of fund managers, just quickly, the, the man in the picture behind us, Bill Gross, yeah. how much is this deal about him? Because he was a big catch yeah. when Janus poached him from PIM. And they, their share price went up like 20, 25% because he's a huge legend in this business. The answer is very, very little indeed. 1.4 billion is the size of his fund, less than 1%. He's not, he's not part of this story. Thank you, Giles.